Alrighty, now that we have our layout completed, the next step is to configure the output file so that you can send it to a manufacturing engineer, then they can tell us that there's no way on earth we should manufacture this. Um, but we still need to practice, right? Okay. That's the, that's the point. Alright, so the first thing we need to do here, let's do a file, save all. And we're going to do is right click, add new to project, and we're going to do output job file. And boom, we have that. So it should look similar to the tutorial we did on idea to manufacture. Let's take a look at the document outputs we need. Schematic prints. We did this in the tutorial. That assembly outputs, the drawings. Now yeah, we did that, and then there was a pick and place files. We did that, I think. Fabrication outputs, drill drawings, Gerber files. Definitely did those. Port outputs, bill of materials, active bomb document. Remember this turned up red? We we're like, oh my gosh, we're panicking. Don't panic, don't worry. I think we can send these, yeah. That's gonna do that. That's a Gerber is Gerber. Assembly drawings, those are PDFs. The reason this is red is because this is looking for an active bomb document. So this is like a type of file. This active bomb is a type of file. So what we need to do is and we don't have one in our project, so we add new to project, active bomb. So this is where we'll see the bomb. So ignore all this. There was a way. Oh yes, yeah, select column. So whenever I curated my library, I think I mentioned this in the tutorial for component creation, but uh, I should have line number, name, description, designation. Okay, so get rid of all of these, right? Because we, we have a custom library that we created. So we have our own, I'm not sure what you call it. You can call them columns or parameter types is a good word. And let me see. So we have manufacturer, manufacturer part number. And I'm sure if that anything out. And these are specific I made for the transformer, but I'll I'll leave that out. Okay. All right, so these are manufacturer part numbers, flyback transformer. So ignore this part because the flyback tra transformer is a special piece that you get custom made for you. So um, we can talk about it maybe in a later video, but that's why it's blank for now. But there's all the components, all their quantities, so the manufacturer part number and the manufacturer. So this is all we need actually. So then if we go back to our output job file, this is no longer red. What we will really want to do is send this to a folder structure. So this will output it as like a an Excel or something like that. i I actually don't. I can hit document. Page setup? Nope. Figure. Okay, so here we go. See, I don't have uh, Excel. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so this is what this would output to if it if I did have Excel. Save this. All right, so we could hit generate content. We don't need to do that. Let 
me know it will show up if we did that. Um, but yeah, like that, I think that's pretty much it. Like, just take a look back at it. Remember we went through the schematic, did our layout, and then we generated the output. That's pretty much the order. You do schematic capture, then you do PCB layout, then you generate the uh, output files, right? And that's after you do like a design rule check and make sure you're about, make sure you, you know, your design's good. Um, so yeah, like, thanks for, for sticking it through this whole thing. If you made it through the whole thing, I really hoped you learned something. That was my goal like this. I don't really see any videos like this on YouTube at all where they actually go through the design procedure. And to be honest, I see why it's because it's very painful, like, you know, prepping for this. Um, and I'm sure following along, it's kind of painful too. So, but yeah, if you made it through, then congrats. You'll get a lot better at designing stuff. Um, this is a great first step for you. And just look forward to many more videos like this because, uh, you know, this makes me a better engineer myself. So I'm, I'm more than happy to make these videos. Like in prepping for this, I got so much better. And this isn't even a great flyback ever. We'll make, we'll make, we'll be the experts at this stuff. And then we'll move on to something else and we'll become experts at that. And then we'll be experts at everything in the universe. So yeah, I just want to say, uh, thanks. Uh, let me check my contents. Yeah. Generate Apple files is the last thing I had on my list that I wanted to cover. Um, so yeah. Um, Thanks so much for, for sticking out. Please leave a like for the help to help me out with a YouTube algorithm so I can grow my channel, please. Um, I try to build a nice community of engineers who love learning about this stuff. And yeah, subscribe if you want to see more projects like this. Like this, this is what I want to be like the centerpiece for my my uh they think this one this is the capstone projects. I want I want this to be the center focus of my YouTube channel is projects like this. Or I just go through, show you how I did it. And you know, eventually we'll get good. And I'll try to cover any relevant information. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that you know I skipped in this that I'll probably want to cover later on. But yeah, just feel free to drop a comment if there's something that you think I'm you want to know about that I missed. Um, anything you think I I did a poor job of or something? Comment down. I'll love to to make it better. So, uh, but yeah. So thank you, really. Thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate your viewership. And that's it.